Arm of the anti-abortion movement has reached Minnesota. Those were Minnesota Senator Lindsey Port's words today as state Democrats addressed a court ruling that could impact abortions nationwide. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham was there as lawmakers addressed the ruling and what it could mean for the future of reproductive care in Minnesota. And Friday's ruling by a Texas judge willing to sacrifice the rule of law to advance the anti-abortion movement's repressive agenda has ratcheted the crisis up to a dire new level. Minnesota lawmakers and activists convened in the Capitol basement Monday to discuss the wide-reaching impacts a Texas court ruling could have. With a single decision invalidating the FDA's approval of a medication widely used to end first trimester pregnancies safely, effectively, and on patients' own terms, this judge has reached across state lines and brought the abortion crisis to Minnesota the ruling in question targets mifepristone, a widely used abortion medication across the U.S. In Minnesota, the drug accounts for more than half of all abortion procedures. While lawmakers like Senator Lindsey Port vowed to pass more reproductive rights legislation, Our neighbors and surrounding states need us to act. There was an air of uncertainty as lawmakers acknowledged that even sweeping legislation could prove ineffective against the Texas court ruling. There's never been a court case that overruled uh, the FDA's ability to make a decision. We are in uncharted territory. Uh, for sort of the legal ramifications of it. And while there seems to be optimism that the drug will remain available in the North Star State, it appears that the decision is out of the hands of the state governments. I don't think we're going that far to say that it won't be available this week. Again, we don't know how it's going to shake out, and we really need to hear from the FDA. In St. Paul, Quinn Gorham, Valley News Live. Minnesota Republicans have indicated they likely won't address the Texas court at this time. Minnesota's two senators over the weekend condemning the decision, both taking to social media where Senator Amy Klobuchar called the ruling extremely shocking, adding it needs to be appealed. And Senator Tina Smith said she was furious and called the ruling an extremist, anti-democratic abortion 